cover how to create views within lending pad there are two ways to create views one on the personal user level and one on the company settings level for the personal views you would go to your profile in the top right and click on profile and you'll notice the views tile right here on this screen here from here you would create a view from here some of you system admins or others that have permission would be able to create a company view right here from your profile it's the same procedure uh, as a personal view as it would be for a company view so we're going to head to the company view in the settings here in the top color bar from here scroll down to the views tile and from here you can see a list of system views that will already be there for you um, you can click on them and, and change around any of those views or we're going to create our own view here you would want to label the view in this case we'll just call it test view here you would definitely want it as an active view and there is an option for a manual refresh what the manual refresh option does it does allow for um, changing parameters and different combinations and different filters within the pipeline prior to the pipeline searching automatically so it does force the user to click the search button otherwise if the toggle is off for manual refresh any changes made in the filters on the right hand side of the pipeline the pipeline will start to search for those parameters automatically it just depends on the style and it depends on the flow that you want as a user or perhaps as a company and that's what the manual refresh is for the description is internal you can put a description it's not required we will head to the filters section here and filters are what you want to use to search for loans uh, within the pipeline and you can set default values here as well so you want to add new group here and you can see all of the different filters that you can search loans for within the pipeline so a couple of default um, filters or a couple of standard filters or very popular filters will certainly be the loan number you're certainly going to want to search by loan number within the pipeline you're definitely going to want to search by borrowers in the pipeline you can even define it by first and last name or even the primary borrower's name since lending pad is status driven you may want to search by status here and you can see the different statuses one quick note pipeline status this is a parameter that allows to search by active and archived loans. One of the reasons for archive functionality is so that the pipeline does not actively search for those loans, which increases search speed and it increases uh, results from the pipeline. We're gonna go ahead and add that. Another popular filter might be subject property here. And as you can see, we can add all of them at once and you can see all of the different parameters and possible combinations for filters that you may want to see. So we're gonna go ahead and add selected here. You can see how you can rearrange the order here. You can do, if a loan number doesn't have a value, ends with, equals, has value, or if a loan number starts with, the most popular option is contains. That way you can just search for a loan number. Uh, same thing with a borrower. You can see all of the options uh, under the operations column that you have. A popular use case is users want to filter out all of the possible withdrawn loans or denied loans or incomplete loans. In this instance, we'll use that as our test view use case here. So 
for the status, we're going to want to show everything except for those withdrawn, denied, incomplete status, et cetera. So here's where you're going to set your predefined values. You can see the values here. If you are leave it blank, it will be blank within the pipeline and you can key in what you're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and do accept and we're going to go ahead and look for that denied. We're going to go ahead and look for that withdrawn. And we're going to add statuses here all at once. <clears throat> So here, when we click on this view, it will naturally filter out these statuses and essentially show you and your users only the active loans, quote unquote, active loans. For pipeline status, we're going to go ahead and set this to active by default. That way it's not searching archive loans, which again will increase the pipeline search speed. And then subject property, we'll just leave as contains. Perhaps you want to search by partial subject property addresses. We would just leave this blank. You can add more filters. You can change the order of the filters by simply drag and drop here. And then we can move on to the order. You don't have to set an order. However, you can order the loans here. Uh, perhaps you want to order by closing estimate here. And you could do ascending or in descending order here. You can add more um, options for order. Once the pipeline runs out of closing estimates dates, it will then go to the next field chosen and so on and so forth. And again, you can reorder these um, properties here. User roles is very important. If you are creating a view on the company level, you will want to set your user roles. So there's a view and a default option. If everyone in the company needs to view or have access to this view, you can simply hit the checkbox button here and it will turn it on for all user roles. Otherwise, please define what user roles need access by toggling on or off here. You can make this a default view when going into the pipeline. If some user roles need to have a default view, please define that here. Otherwise, you can toggle on for everyone and it will default to this view when, when you have, whenever you access the pipeline. I'm going to go ahead and, and make this not a default view. When you're ready, you can hit save changes. You can head to the pipeline. And you can see our test view is available here. So we switch to our test view. We did have that manual refresh. And as you can see, our predefined filters of the statuses we want to exclude are there and our active um, pipeline status we've also put here. You can change the parameters right here within the loan level. Here, if you want to, and you can see that the pipeline automatically has now loaded every single loan because we have not set any filters here on the right as far as search parameters. Okay, thanks everyone. I hope this helps. <laughs>